Hi, I'm Steve Lauer. I'm the inventor and manufacturer of Duracoat firearm finishes, and I'm here today to demo our newest kit, which is the Easy Way Camo Kit, manufactured by Lauer Custom Weaponry. The first thing we're going to do is inventory the kit. Okay, right here we have a backer card which has instructions on it. We've also got a DVD. We have about 42 shapes here on our cut right stencils. I've got a cap for my preval jar. I've got a piece of 3M Scotch Brite pad for degreasing. I've got my preval sprayer. Duracoat reducer. True strip degreaser manufactured by Lauer Custom Weaponry. And then I've got my camouflage colors. We're doing ACU camouflage today. The first color is ACU light tan. Second color is ACU gray green. And the last color is ACU deep gray green, which we have two bottles of because it is our base coat. And then we've got the hardener, the Duracoat hardener. Okay, now what we've got to do is mix up our base color. Let's just set these two items off to the side. Take our aerosol off our jar. And we'll get a two ounce bottle. And now we've got to shake this. All the good stuff's laying in the bottom of this bottle. So we've got to shake this for about three minutes after we hear the rattling ball. And it's rattling away there now, so we'll, we'll shake now for three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. My ACU Deep Gray Green is ready to go. Pour it in the preval jar. I'm going to put my cap back on to keep my mess to a minimum. Set that off to the side. And then add my hardener. Now I put in about two ounces of Duracoat, so I'm going to need a teaspoon of hardener. Okay, now I'm going to want to clean off my tool here and set it off to the side. Put the cap back on my hardener so I don't spill it or get the evaporation. Set that off to the side. And now I'm going to take my cap and screw it onto the jar. Now I can shake the hardener into the Duracoat. Now this only takes a few seconds. We'll just shake for a few seconds like this. That should pretty much do it. Now we can take the cap off and I'm going to clean this cap a little bit. I'm just going to take a paper towel and get some the excess Duracoat off of the cap and set it aside. I'm going to clean the rim here. I got a little bit of dirt coat on my threads, so we're going to clean that off. And now we'll screw the aerosol onto the jar. Now, these aerosols have a vent. It's right here. Okay? We can't tip this jar more than 45 degrees or, or the dirt coat's going to run out the vent. So I have to be careful about that. Now I'm going to take my cap off and I'm going to align my aerosol at about 180 degrees to that vent. That way if I do accidentally go over my 45 degrees I, I still won't have any spillage. Okay, so that's ready to go. Today we're going to be working on an AR-15 buttstock. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is degrease it with our true strip. And uh, I have to shake it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to saturate this part. The key to any successful Duracoat job is to get the substrate clean. It has to be clean. Get it good and saturated with this aerosol. 
and then I'm going to take my 3M Scotch Brite pad and I'm going to saturate it. And I'm going to put some more true strip on this part. And now I'm going to scrub. Pay attention to detail, get every little spot. There, that should do it. Okay, now we're ready for our base coat. We're going to do this in layers. Um, I'm going to put a light uh, layer on here. We're going to allow it to dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to do another layer and, and possibly a third one. We'll see how it goes. There, that should do it. We'll hang it up to dry. It's been about 15-20 minutes now, so my Duracoat is flashed off and it's dry to the touch. Remember, Duracoat uh, dries to the touch in 20 minutes. You can handle it in an hour and you can reassemble and use your firearm the next day. Um, now I'm ready for my second layer, so here we go. Okay, we'll hang it up for another 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 15, 20 minutes again. I've got uh, my second uh, layer all dry and ready for a third layer. I'm going to swoosh this jar around on my preval here a little bit, make sure my Duracoat is mixed up, being careful not to get too radical because otherwise it's going to come out of my vent hole. Okay, here we go. There, that should do it. We'll hang it up to dry. While this buttstock is drying, we're going to go ahead and clean our preval. Unscrew the jar and then uh, we'll wipe off the excess from our siphon tube. Then I'm going to take a Dixie cup and pour my ACU deep gray green in there and I'm going to save it. I'm just going to set it aside, save it. I might need it for touch up or something later on. And now I'm going to clean out the, the bulk of my uh, ACU deep green with a uh, paper towel. Get that in there. Get as much out with this paper towel as we can. And now I'm going to pour a little bit of Duracoat reducer in there. cap on. Shake it up a little bit. Clean the excess off my cap. Take another Dixie cup and I'll pour off my reducer. And I'll wipe the outside the inside of my jar off again with some clean paper towel. And it's going to leave a little residue, there's going to be a little haze, but that doesn't mean anything. We won't worry about that. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take a look at my nozzle. My nozzle stayed pretty clean, but I'm going to wipe off the little excess that's there. Okay. There. Now I'm good to go with the next color. Now, our buttstock here has been drying for about three hours, so it's ready now to lay templates. We're going to lay our first set of templates on here. Um, Let's take a look at, uh, at these. Once again, these are our cut right stencils, and uh, the shapes are, are pre cut um, right into this, this blue vinyl. And what we have here is a male and a female template. What I mean by that is that, that there is the male template, and that there is a female template. And we're going to use male templates to start with. Um, and then we'll use female templates uh, for our accent color at the end. Okay. Now, I'm going to search through here. I've got a lot of different sizes. I'm going to search through here for some of the bigger sizes. That's what I'm after right now. Um, yeah, here we go. There. Now when I lay these on here, I'm just going to barely press them down. I don't, want them, I don't want them stuck too good. Just enough to hold them on there so that they don't come off when I'm spraying with my preval. I'm going to set the female template to the side. another one. Okay. Now I need a couple of smaller ones. Need something larger again. Like so. Okay. Now we're ready for our next color. And that will be the ACU light tan. And now, once I get that rattling ball going, there it goes. Now for, I got to shake for about three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. We'll take the cap off and Pouring about two ounces into the preval jar. Put my cap back on and set that to the side. And then add my hardener, which will be about a teaspoon. And we'll clean this off. Very important to keep your tools and equipment clean. Cap back on the hardener, set it aside. And now I'll put the little cap on my jar, 
shake it up for a few seconds. The hardener will go right into the dirt coat. It only takes a few seconds like this. We're good to go. Now I'm going to clean the cap again. And the rim here, the threads have got a little dirt coat on. Clean that off. And install our aerosol and pay close attention to the vent. I'm going to turn my nozzle about 180 degrees. I've got a little bit of residual Duracoat up here on my nozzle, so I'm going to clean this off. Keep everything clean. And now I'm ready. Now, the base coat that I put on here, I did in three layers, and that's what's providing the protection um, for the firearm. And now we're going to go into the decorating stage. So here, when I, when I apply the ACU light tan and the ACU gray green as our, as our accent color, um, I'm going to apply very lightly, just enough to, to hide the color below, no more than that. There. I'll hang it up to dry. Okay, it's been about three hours now, so we're ready to uh, lay some more templates. Um, I cleaned my preval in the meantime, so I've got that ready to go. Um, I've got to take my mail templates off at this point. Now I'm going to take a female template, like so, and I'm going to place it all right here. Just going to press that down enough to hold it. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of 3M blue mask to give myself a little extra protection. I've got this big buttstock here where it's very likely that I, uh, I would overspray. And so I'm going to protect my surface with a little bit of this 3M long mask. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to use ACU Gray Green. I've got to shake this. For about three minutes after I hear that rattling ball. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Pour my ACU gray green in there, put the cap back on, set this off to the side. Add my hardener. and shake for a few seconds.
clean my lid off again. Always keep your tools clean. Do a much better job with clean tools. Everything works properly. You're not mixing colors together, etc. And pay close attention to that vent again. I'll put my nozzle about 180 degrees to that. And now I'm now I'm ready to go. Again, this is a decorating stage, so it won't take much Duracoat, so I'll just squirt a little bit on here. this shape again, I'm just going to dab some of that excess Duracoat off of there. And I'm going to set that shape right here. Reusing my template. And I'll put a little bit more of this 3M blue mask on here for a little extra protection. And I'm going to pat off that excess Duracoat again. And then I'm going to set this template aside for later use. And pick myself a new size here. Now I can keep adding these shapes and different different shapes and and ever how many I want, how dramatic I want to get with this. I think I'm just going to add a couple more little ones here for today. You get the idea. And there you go, it's just that easy with the Easy Way Camo Kit manufactured by Lauer Custom Weaponry.